Hi, welcome to module two, fracture mechanics. I could sum up fracture mechanics in really just a short sentence. It's all about cracks propagating in materials. Okay, so our goal for this module is to understand when cracks propagate and when they don't. And this really governs the brittle failure of materials, which is so important to so many of the materials we use in mechanical design, particularly metals and ceramics. Uh, we learned this one the hard way. You'll see several case studies we'll talk about that historically um, were horrible failures that were brought up on by unstable propagation of cracks that led to premature failure and really opened up the field of fracture mechanics for study by engineers. To start, we're going to go through failure modes of materials because as I described, fracture mechanics is really about the brittle failure mode in materials. You're probably familiar with failure modes like yielding. When you exceed the yield point of a material, you'll get failure due to yielding. So we'll talk about the different failure modes and see where brittle failure falls into that and recognize the importance when you sit, set out to either design for a situation or to study a failure to recognize all the variety of failure modes that may occur and how to identify which one or perhaps more than one might be operating. We'll then kind of get into the science and the technical aspects of fracture mechanics. It's really a brief coverage. You could take an entire semester course on just fracture mechanics. We're going to talk mostly about linear elastic fracture mechanics and then some of the um, assumptions that you might violate with materials that are too plastic for linear elastic fracture mechanics and how to determine whether you can use the simpler linear elastic version of fracture mechanics or you need to use more sophisticated fracture mechanics that deals with plasticity. We won't do a lot of the more sophisticated problems, but we'll at least recognize <coughs> when those problems require the more sophisticated analysis. By the end of the module, you'll be able to do homework problems related specifically to predicting whether brittle failure will occur in a material and understand the theoretical basis of fracture mechanics and all the various assumptions that go into working out the problems and being able to determine <coughs> whether brittle failure is going to be a failure mode for your particular design situation.